How you can be tracked on the internet without an IP address. Coming up next. Browser fingerprinting is one of the most accurate ways of tracking a particular device on the internet. And it's practically impossible to fully evade. You can evade it for short periods, but it would take a lot of work and inconvenience that an average person wouldn't spend time on. Browser fingerprinting by itself doesn't discover your actual identity. However, when matched with other data that tracks you like an email address, an IP address, or a location, then the effect of browser fingerprinting is devastating. Browser fingerprinting is actually a device fingerprint, but the data used comes from your browser. A couple of years ago, some researchers found that statistically speaking, a unique user can be identified by some characteristics of your device, and these are reported by the browser. Examples are your IP address, your device model, the CPU type, screen size, browser position and browser window size, battery level, graphics card and graphics card capability, browser extensions, browser version, operating system version, time zone. And this has gotten more sophisticated due to tricks related to cookies. For example, a collection of HTTPS addresses you visited and traces of other apps on your device. As it turns out, a specific computer can be picked out among millions based on this criteria and it is very accurate, particularly for short periods of time. This means that if an ad tracker discovers that you went to Amazon and then later you went to YouTube, the ad tracker can figure out that it's the same device and it is able to connect the two events into one person. So if the ad tracker assigns an ID number to you when it first encounters you on the internet, it can then use that same ID number to track you and verify that it is you when you go visit other websites. It's able to do this because the same ad trackers are often in multiple websites. For example, as part of Google Ads. This is how ad trackers effectively track your actions on the internet. It is very invasive, and unfortunately, they often collect information beyond just serving ads. These trackers collect your location, for example, and because it can be matched to your device, they can discover all the places you've been in all day without tracking an IP address. This is one of the pieces of information sold to data mining companies. The problem gets worse, however, because you cannot think of a browser or device fingerprint as an isolated data point. Your browser fingerprint can be matched to an IP address or an email discovered as a login to a website. Here's a specific case. One of the biggest and scariest propagators of the browser fingerprint is Facebook. Because of the ubiquitous Facebook like button, which is functioning as an ad tracker, Every website that has a Facebook like button actually has a built-in Facebook spyware. So you are tracked across all websites that have the Facebook like button. Where it becomes ultra invasive is when you log into Facebook. And then the browser fingerprint ID is then matched to your real name and your Facebook account. And the rest of your Facebook data, such as your location, your preferences, your likes, your friends, your contact lists, become part of one big database. This is like a multiplier effect. It's bad enough that they're tracking your internet movements, but it is this extreme tracking that is more detailed than a three-letter agency doing mass surveillance. This is one of the reasons that Facebook is the biggest violator of internet privacy. All the internet activity is attached to a real name. Outside of Facebook, understand that there are enough pieces of data in a browser fingerprint that can be matched to other databases which reveal your real identity, such as your IP address. This is why a VPN is still an important defense mechanism. Even if a browser fingerprint tracks you all over the internet, 
you want to deny it information on your real identity. There is a browser extension for Chrome and Safari called Privacy Badger. It's on EFF.org. This spots trackers that are sharing information across multiple websites. In other words, using a browser fingerprint to track you. This is a nice little utility because it allows you to use cookies, but reduces the effectiveness of the ad tracker. I will put the link to this in the description. Watch my other video as well on how to keep ad trackers from taking your location on an iPhone. The privacy approach is often a comprehensive one. No single thing will protect you. Just a final note though. If you stick with your Facebook account, then nothing will prevent your information from being stolen. The first decision to maintaining your privacy is to leave Facebook. A hard pill to swallow for some of you, but there are safer platforms out there. Just make sure the platform does not require a real name. Make sure to check out ByteSVPN.com, which as I mentioned is still an important part of mitigating a browser fingerprint. If you like my content, please hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. Thank <music> you.